Good afternoon. I want to welcome you to the first ever BYTES 2 BITES e learning cooking school. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the NLA fat bars. These fat bars are famous. They've been famous on our a la carte program for 30 years. And the kids um, inhale them. Many parents ask for them for graduation and special event parties. So I thought we would start out our series with the infamous fat bars. You will need a bowl that will hold at least one gallon of Rice Krispies slash peanut butter. You're going to need a saucepan to put on the stove to melt your carol syrup and your white sugar together. And you're going to need a 9 by 13 pan. I have sprayed the inside of the bowl with pan spray. Also, I've sprayed the inside of the pan so the bars will come out easier at the end. So to start out, we will take the saucepan, put it on the stove, and I've got everything pre-measured for time's sake. We will put in one cup of sugar and one cup of white carol syrup. Now, the key to these bars, in my opinion, is you do not want these to boil very long, but you want to bring them to a soft, soft boil. It seems to me when it boils too long, the bars get too hard. So we're going to stir this together, and we're going to turn the burner on, and we're going to bring this to a soft boil. While this is cooking on the stovetop, we are going to take our six cups of Rice Krispies, and we're going to pour them into the, the bowl that is sitting to be used. When the sugar and the syrup boil, when it starts boiling, then we're going to add, I believe it's one and a half cups of creamy peanut butter. You just want to mix that in until the peanut butter melts down. Then we're going to pour this into the Rice Krispies. So this is almost boiling already. You don't want to boil it too long. Okay, doesn't take long. Then we're going to put our peanut butter in here and just mix this together so it's well blended. So it's going to look, it's going to have a very creamy texture. You don't want any of the separation visible. So there it's nice and creamy. Then we're going to take this and we are going to pour over the Rice Krispies. Now when we make this at school, we will go through a 9 by 13 pan plus every day and we cut our bars into 24. The recipe you can make them into 12, 24, graduation parties normally make them into 48. So here you have your Rice Krispies and your peanut butter. You want to stir this so that it's coated. If I wasn't on camera I would probably put my grease my gloves and put my gloves in there. <laughs> but we will do it this way. There you go. Doesn't take long. Quick bar to make. Kids love it. So if they're bored studying, mom, you can do this real fast. Or have the kids make it. So here we have our peanut butter and our Rice Krispie mixture putting into the pan. And you want to pat this down, not hard, because if you pat it too hard, you're not going to be able to cut them. So just pat it down lightly so it's a smooth top on the, on the bar, because you want to pour some frosting over that. Okay, there you go. So it's going to look something like this. Then what I will do next in my microwavable measuring cup, I'm going to put in two cups of chocolate chips. I'm going to put in 3 fourths cup butterscotch chips, and I am going to put in 3 eighths cup of oil, which is 6 tablespoons. Then I will microwave this for about 2 minutes, stirring frequently. I'll microwave this just for a few minutes here, about 2 minutes. So 
your bars are now ready to have the chocolate put on top. And after you put your chocolate on top, you're going to want to cool the bars down so the chocolate doesn't melt right away, but if you don't cool it down, it'll be too soft to cut. I will take this now. Our spirit chocolate burns real fast in the microwave. These are also known as scotcheroos or peanut butter crispy bars. So just give me about a half a minute here and we will finish off our, our demonstration. Your kids would be very surprised to see you hand these out for a snack. Because I'm sure they're thinking they aren't going to get any more this year. So we'll Almost melted. Our next demonstration this week will be on a panini. So we will make the spicy Southwest turkey panini. I believe that will be on Friday. The next week we will work on making uh, puppy chow one day and the next uh, demonstration, the second demonstration next week will be on a protein bar. thinking, do I have to buy my product in bulk like she does? No, you do not. But this is what we use in the food service. We now have it melted. You want to stir it well so you do not have little lumps of chips. I use the miniature chips. You do not have to use those if you do not want to, but I feel like they melt quicker than the regular chips. So you just take this, you pour it on your bars, spread it around so it's nice and smooth. And then you're going to want to set this someplace where it can harden or set up. I usually put it in the refrigerator for a little bit um, so that it gets nice and set on top and it's much easier to cut that way. There you go. Now let me show you what you have. You've got your bars. They will look like that and the finished product after you let it sit for a few minutes or maybe half an hour will be something like this. You can cut this into 12, 24, or 48. That concludes our cooking class for today at Bites to Bite. Thank you.